What if the most important crash in lunar history is still steering where we land today? The moon's far side hides a monster scar, the South Pole Aitken Basin, a crater so huge it could swallow Everest and stretch from New York to Dallas. When a country-sized asteroid slammed in over four billion years ago, it didn't just dig a hole, it may have ripped open the moon's deep interior and splashed strange material called creep onto the surface. Potassium, rare earth elements, phosphorus and radioactive thorium, a chemical time capsule from the moon's magma ocean days. New modeling shows that impact came from the north, pushing most of that creep toward the southern rim right where NASA's Artemis III plans to land. By sampling rocks there and watching mysterious transient lunar flashes from orbit, astronauts could probe the moon's deep past, test how it evolved, and maybe even solve centuries-old mysteries about why parts of our quiet neighbor still flicker and glow.